Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Sky Princess. So let's get straight to it. There's no fill on this vlog. All right, here we go. This is cabin C624. I'm gonna use our magic band. I mean, the Nellian to open. And here we go. Come in, come in, come in. You are very welcome here. This is a standard balcony cabin. It is mid aft and it's port side. As you can see, this stateroom is very close to the aft lifts, staircase, and also a laundrette, which I'll show you a little later on. So as you come in to the right hand side, we have some of our storage space. So we've got lots of hanging space here. Now look, I know I'm sad, I did count. There were actually 60 hangers uh, available. And of course there's still room for more. Just ask if you need any more. And down here, this is where we're storing our shoes. Although you might want to put your luggage here. Up above, you've got your uh, life jackets in case of you know what. And there's plenty of space up here as well for storage. It's directly to the right, there is a cupboard. And we've got one, two, three, four, five shelves here where you can store whatever you need, plus that all important safe, which is complimentary to use, as you'd hope. Continuing the tour, uh, to the left as you come in, you've got a full length mirror, very handy, so you can see that you're looking smart, you're looking smooth, not me, I'm too old for that sort of nonsense. And directly on the left, you have your AC unit, and of course, ours is always turned down to icy. Come into my boudoir. Right, so we all know, don't we, that princess beds are of the most comfortable at sea. I've got to say, we have had the best sleep at sea in a long time. You're going to enjoy these beds very much. As you can see, we have two drawers either side of the bed and a slight splash of penguin colour on the wall. I'm not sure what this has got to do with Sky Princess, but I do like it nonetheless. And one thing I'm a big fan of actually, no, it's not the lamps, although they're very pretty, is you have USB ports um, actually in the lamps on both sides of the bed. Hallelujah. We've got lights above the bed, should you want to read at night. And opposite the bed, you've got a decent sized television actually. Now what's great about this television is you can access uh, your location. So you can see we've already done our Scandinavian cruise, heading back uh, down the North Sea, back to Blighty. Oh no, don't do this to us. You can also have a look at all the venues on board, the restaurants, menus per day, which is really helpful. Of course, you can access lots of different up-to-date films as well. Don't have to pay for them. And over here, we've got a little cabinet. We've got some shelves. This is where you're gonna find your fridge. There we go. Uh, no freezer there, by the way. I uh, do get ice each day. We order that on the app. Uh, we have a, a stocked fridge because we are elite members. Sorry, I know people don't like that shoved in their faces. And that's all that's left of our miniatures. You're going to get the pedder uh, delivered to your cabin every evening. Another mirror here. Look, hi everybody, it's Travel Blog Jamie here. Please don't forget to subscribe. Lovely. Loving these curtains, actually. Oh, we'll go out there in a minute. Lovely day over here. We've got uh, another unit with three drawers, nice comfy chair. And oh my goodness, how many times have I said this on the Facebook forums? Yes, there's a kettle in this cabin with all your teas and coffees and gubbins. Oh, hi, banana. Uh, smiley banana. That's because we are sailing from the UK and UK residents, as we know, we cannot cope without our morning coffees and teas. It's just illegal. We pretty much get thrown in prison if you didn't provide it. Alrighty, and not to be too sad, I mean, there are always lots of questions on forums about sockets. You've got your European ones, you've got your American ones as well here. So UK residents, you might want to bring an adapter. Okay, let's go and have a look out on that balcony. Oh, I'm so tired with people who love the interior cabins. And it's great if you love interior cabins, I've stayed in many. But when they say you don't use your cabin for anything other than showering and sleeping, I think that's just ridiculous. You get changed in your cabin, don't you? Some people have a little bit of intimacy in their cabin, if you know what I'm saying. Some people have food delivered to the cabin, enjoy breakfast on the balcony, uh, lunch, dinner, have drinks, have friends over, have your pets over. You know, don't knock the, the balcony lovers, please. Having said all of that, some of you know the Royal Class ships do have quite shallow balconies, certainly on a standard uh, balcony cabin. That doesn't mean there's no space to lie out, as some lady told me very rudely on a forum recently. Look, two chairs side by side. You absolutely, you can put the backs down on those. You can lie out, there's plenty of space there. Is it narrow? Yes, I will give you that. But it's not like you can't do anything on this balcony, if you know what I mean. 
just proving that you can stretch out if you want to. Hashtag just saying, hashtag stretch out. And who doesn't love these views? Waking up, coming out on your balcony, having your first coffee or tea of the day, which of course you can make yourself on here if you really want it, or you can have it delivered. Oh my goodness, and I know some of you are thinking that can't be the North Sea. It is, it's uh, the start of June, and look how beautiful it is. I know some um, American uh, guests on the forums have said they're a bit worried about sailing at this time of year or at all on the North Sea. Obviously from the UK, we've done it a lot. And I've got to say on the whole, it's been pretty smooth sailing. <laughs> This is exactly what cruising is all about, isn't it? Alrighty, that is balcony life. Let's go and have a look at toilet life. Not quite as exotic, of course, but you need to know what the bathroom is going to offer. Here we go. Are you ready? Well, the first thing is that we've got gowns. We order those through the app, which is great. Okay, so my first impressions of the um, bathroom. First of all, a bit plastic, uh, considering this is a, a newer, more modern ship. I was hoping for, you know, a few tiles sort of splattered around here or there. Not the most spacious of bathrooms either. And I nearly had a, a meltdown when I thought, oh my God, clingy curtains. However, let me just tell you one thing. These are newfangled, non-clingy curtains. They don't cling and you've even even got look oh it's like a little window in the top so you don't feel so claustrophobic look you can even check to see what's going on in there and let me tell you this shower powerful very hot love it you do have some amenities in here as well uh, they're not bad actually you've got shampoo and conditioner shower gel as well these are products from the lotus spa very nice there's a good size wash basin here uh large mirror hello again uh, we've got three shelves here for your products. Underneath the wash basin, there's also a shelf. Ooh, toilet paper. Thank the toilet paper gods. And look, I know you don't need a close-up of uh, the, the actual toilet itself, but some people worry that they wouldn't fit on the toilet. It's a little bit narrow, I guess. There's not a great deal of room over here, so just be aware of that. And no, I'm not going to show you or try out for you. Not at all. By the way, you're only going to fit... By the way, you're only going to fit one, maybe one and a half, two people at a push in that shower at a time. So no parties for you, I'm afraid. Oh, look, just a few steps from the cabin, there's the laundromat. Let's have a little peep inside, shall we? And we all know, don't we, this is where all the gossip kings and queens go to share their dirty laundry. So a few things I like about this particular cabin slash stateroom. Well, the location on sea deck, uh, mid aft, is actually a really good one. We're not too far from a staircase or the lift towards the aft. Also, it's only three decks up if you want to reach the open deck. So if you're mobile enough, that's not going to be very strenuous for you. And in the same vein, it's only three decks down if you want to reach the top of the piazza with shops and restaurants and bars. So this is not the biggest stateroom slash cabin I've ever stayed in. Uh, it doesn't have the deepest of balconies, but it's really comfy. The bed's fantastic. We've had such good night's sleep here. Honestly, every single night I've just slept right through. Uh, not particularly noisy with people coming and going. Not uh, a deluge of people running to the laundrette opposite to use that either. And our cabin steward, uh, Raul, he has been absolutely spot on. Now he has a lot to do every day, a lot of cabins to service, but he's been really efficient, really friendly. Uh, he's brought ice for us when we've asked. He brought our gowns. He's exchanged some uh, miniatures. I don't do brandy, etc. So he's changed some for vodka, etc. Whatever you want, just ask, okay? If you're not happy about something, please do tell the staff, tell the crew so they can do something about it. Don't just get home and moan. Oh gosh, I'm very bossy today. Uh, bossy equals I'm right. <laughs> so that's all from me today. I hope that's been useful. If you've got any comments, any questions, please do pop them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget I have six vlogs in this Sky Princess series so make sure you do subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know when the next video is going live. I'll see you very soon folks, take care. Don't forget to follow Travel Vlog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube.